Hello viewers, Elements 118, and it's time for some more World of Tanks. I'm driving the Amex 5120 here, uh, on my own, on Mountain Pass, starting from the southeastern corner of the map. I promised in the last video that I was going to show you uh, a couple of first class uh, high caliber games, uh, like the last two replays that I showed you, and that's absolutely true. There's this one that will be up today and um, the other one I will also be recording and uploading today but it won't actually be available until later in the week um, I'll upload it as a private video and uh, change its status to public on uh, Wednesday or something like that because I won't actually have the, the chance to do the recording or upload it um, during the week so I'm going to go over to the uh, southwestern corner of the map over here, traditional heavy tank area. Of course I say traditional because um, there are always vehicles that break traditions, which is fine as long as um, as long as it's not um, excessive. We do have a lot of heavy tanks in this game. I showed you the AMX 5100 in my last replay, and this is the AMX 5120 which leads on. Um, it's the tier 9 in the French heavy tank line. Has four shells in the uh, clip rather than six, although the reload time between each shell is 3.33 um, seconds, I believe. Uh, which is longer between each shell, although uh, it only takes 33 seconds to uh, reload the entire clip. Once you get to the AMX 51, AMX 50B, sorry, at the at tier 10, then it will only take you two and a half seconds to reload between each shell, even though it's the same gun. And I know that because I used the AMX 50B during the domination mode, uh, and I really enjoyed it, which is why I decided to. Uh, come further on the uh, French heavy tank line. T-54 is side scraping up there. Three good hits, one bounce. It's pretty good. It's got um, quite distinctive beaking armour at the front here, like the Soviet heavies. Well, don't, let, don't let that throw you off. Um, of course, this is a French heavy. It doesn't really make the armour particularly thick. I'm going to be reloading in just a few seconds. See if you can finish that T-54 off, maybe. Rust shot misses, but he manages to uh, bounce miraculously. Shot into the uh, weak spot on the Super Purging. The IS-3 is not pointing his gun this way, so one shot into him, two shots into him, finishes him off. And now I'm reloading again. I bounced a shot from something there. I think it actually came from behind, so it's a good job I did. Ooh. Borsig Waffentrager down there, he just... Uh, but a well-aimed shot killed that Jagdpanther too down there. Can't see the ball look from where I am. He's not a threat. Not really anything to shoot out over there. So come back here. See if we can do something about these uh, last remaining enemy tanks on this side of the map. IS-3 there. He's fired. So pull forward, take a shot. Reload another shell and finish him off. T-34 is not pointing his gun this way. He's gone. Put one into the super purging. And start reloading again. The other side of the map isn't looking particularly good right now. All we've got over there is an IS-3 and an IS-2. The Chinese IS-2 that is. 
And they've got Bulldog, T29, T30, Centurion. There's a Scorpion that's been spotted over there somewhere. Waffentrager. It's going to be easy for me to kill. One shot. Two shots. He's not going to get enough time to aim at me. Three shots. Finish him off. One shot left. Fortunately, T30 drove beyond, so I can't actually shoot him anymore. I'm going to go for the reload. We've lost the IS-3, by the way. It's now just the IS-2 over there. He's probably not going to survive a great deal longer. The Scorpion's been spotted back at the enemy base, so we don't have to worry about him. There's something capturing our base. It's probably the Bulldog. So, I'm going to go back there with this Type 59. There's only one thing. Um, it must be the Bulldog. The Centur There's no other Centurion got up here. Yeah, it is the Bulldog. Type 59 unfortunately missed. <laughs> but Ram kills him anyway. Fair enough. Right, let's see... Uh, what's going to happen with the others. Are they going to come this way? Or are they going to go back to defend? Type 59 goes out straight away. I stay back here in the bushes to uh, cover him in case the T-30 comes around the corner. But it doesn't look like it, he is. The T-29 certainly isn't. He's gone to engage the T-34 in the center of the map. Centurion's gone back. Where's the T-30? Well, we've captured the base now anyway. This game is over. And that was, as I said, a uh, Master Badge First Class and High Caliber, along with Fire for Effect, obviously. 4,692 damage done, 3 kills, 1,123 base experience, 5,055 total experience and 252 free experience thanks to times 3 XP for the first victory of the day bonus and premium account of course, also giving me 40,649 credits profit. It's quite a good profit to be honest for a tier 9 vehicle, um, didn't expect that. But anyway, I'm certainly not going to complain about that result. I hope you enjoyed watching the replay, and as always viewers, good luck on that battlefield, and I'll see you next time.